Uh, just looking at the overall length of the nails, the curvature, making sure, you know, from an ingrown standpoint, the coloration, thickness, all that kind of stuff. Looking between the toes for diabetics, that's always important because for diabetics, if moisture builds up, skin can break down and that's where you run into issues. So just kind of checking all that stuff out a little bit, making sure it looks the way it should. Yeah, as it stands now, I wouldn't do any, does it hurt? No. no. Okay. I would just let it be. All right. Especially with you being diabetic, I don't want to cause a problem per se. It looks like it's pretty well attached. So what will happen is as that new nail moves yeah. out, it will probably just fall off. It's okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> a new nail should be coming in behind the dough. Okay. Yeah. If for some reason it starts getting loose, more red, more painful, let us know at that point, then we would have to remove it. Yeah. Okay. As it stands now, I don't think it necessarily needs to jump the... I'm going to pop you up a little bit and clean up a couple of these cows. 